matter if you lay hands on me, if you connect with me in the flesh, all that matters is I get a now word, a word that unctions me, a word that pushes me, a word that presses me, a word that tarries with me, a word that carries me onto the other side. Is there anybody under the sound of my prophetic voice? Got a ready mind, got a willingness about you, got a steadfastness about you. When you've made up in yourself, you're predetermined even the day before that you will serve him. I feel like preaching that you will love him. It doesn't matter what they say, it doesn't matter what they do. My brothers and my sisters, hear me and hear me well. In this hour, in this season, and in this time, we are living in dire straits. Folks are dying every day. Folks are finding themselves challenged. I got to preach to a few folks. A great God, hear me and hear me well. This is not an hour to give up. This is not an hour to give in. This is not an hour to find yourself distracted. This is not an hour to find yourself depleted within your spirit. I feel like encouraging a few folks because it feels like it ain't no God. It feels like it ain't no help. It feels like your deliverance is so far away. It feels like you've been holding on. It feels like you've been praying in vain. It feels like you've been laboring in vain. It feels like you've been pushing in vain. It feels like you've been shouting over nothing. A prophetic word has come into your spirit, come into your life, come into your mind, and come into your heart. But yet no manifestation, yet no revelation, yet nothing comes to fruition and crystallization in your life. You find yourself bankrupt spiritually. You find yourself down on bended knees. You're praying, you're fasting, and you're crying out to God. You're saying, Lord, have mercy upon my soul, but still ain't nothing happen. I got some good, good, good news. Early on a Wednesday night, the Lord sent me with a mission and a mandate in my mouth and he told me to tell you to hold on, to stand strong, and to make up in your mind. After having that all, put the stand. I want to begin to remind you, my brothers and my sisters, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that the weapons of your warfare are not candles, but mighty true God for the pulling down of strongholds and the casting down of vain imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the nature. Great God of Christ and bring every thought into the obedience of Christ. I feel like helping somebody in their journey to begin to understand this is not a time for you to become weak, for you to become unstable. This is not a time for you to allow the devices of the enemy to begin to distract you, to begin to provoke you, to begin to misalign you.